NOAA ship Ronald Brown, a global class oceanographic and atmospheric research platform, is presently in Goa doing extensive oceanographic research. With its highly advanced instruments and sensors, the ship travels worldwide supporting scientific studies to increase our understanding of climate and the ocean. I welcome you all aboard NOAA Ronald Brown, a US ocean explorer vessel that has docked in Goa. Well, it started from Seychelles a few weeks back and it has now landed here. And this is where the children of Goa were given a unique opportunity. A select school kids of Goa were invited to come in and view the facilities aboard this atmospheric and oceanic exploration ship as they came in and saw the laboratories and all the testing facilities it was indeed a great day. Let's have a look. Goan students were given a guided tour to various sections of this research vessel. They were given in-depth details on various aspects of oceanographic research conducted on the vessel. School children were exposed to latest oceanographic gadgets and research instrumentation. Several things that we do in here. Uh, first off, we'll start with the CTD. Uh, I don't know if you showed them that already, but uh, so you guys have seen the CTD outside, and so this is actually where we control it from. And the CTD is basically a conductivity, temperature, depth recorder, and it does just that. It actually records conductivity, temperature, and depth. Commissioned in 1997, the ship is named after late Ronald H. Brown, who served as United States Secretary of Commerce primarily deployed in support of NOAA's Office of Oceanic and Atmospheric Research, the ship supports scientific studies to increase our understanding of the relationship between the world's oceans and climate. The ship's combined atmospheric and oceanographic sampling capability allows scientists to observe dynamics and to determine how those dynamics affect climate and global weather patterns. The Ron Brown is visiting Goa as part of its global multidisciplinary research crews uh, around the world to look at areas that have never been explored before and to put new moorings across the entire Indian Ocean Basin. Well, there will be 46 instruments to look at monsoon, tropical cyclones, and weather patterns that actually impact the United States. We're here this week in Goa for the, to celebrate 10 years of working very closely with Ministry of Earth Sciences of India. This is our 10 year celebration. This vessel is basically to deploy most of the instruments in the ocean. It is automatically, it will observe the different parameters and try to send the data to the shore. From that data, we use the ocean model and put in the data into the model and try to give the monsoon forecast. That is the main purpose. So this, in, this vessel is mainly used to deploy the automatic instruments. So once they deploy, they will go back. Then we get the data in real time automatically. Five primary laboratories on board provide nearly 4,000 square feet of dedicated mission space with additional space on deck to support up to nine laboratory vans. The ship is equipped with a suit of scientific sensors including a multi-beam eco-sounder, sub-bottom profiler, acoustic Doppler current profiler, acoustic positioning system and Doppler radar. For quite some time now, this vessel is doing extensive research in Indian Ocean to study direct relationship between changes in Indian Ocean and seasonal monsoon in India. I am the program manager for the research moored array for African, Australian and Asian monsoon analysis and prediction. This is a, an array that spans the entire Indian Ocean, 46 moorings. They sit on the surface of the ocean and they're tethered 4,000 meters below the surface of the ocean. We measure marine meteorology such as winds at the surface of the ocean, uh, air temperature, sea level pressure. But we also go down into the water 750 meters to measure the temperature of the ocean deep down. That helps us to improve monsoon forecast for India, and it also helps us to improve forecasts for weather in the United States two and three, week, and three weeks and four weeks in advance. 
So this, this Rama array of moorings across the Indian Ocean helps India with immediate monsoon forecasting, but also helps the United States with uh, week two and three, four weather forecasting. Over the last 10 years, India's Ministry of Earth Sciences is actively engaged with the United States to strengthen and deepen the nation's collaboration on earth and ocean observations for climate and weather prediction and cutting-edge science designed to boost the economies of both nations. Mainly India is an agrarian country, so we are mainly dependent on the monsoon. So what we are looking at is in the monsoon, what we need to observe. Last 10 years, we are Indo-US is working together both in terms of observation and modeling. So what is the status of that? and how to build further and especially one of the gap area, what are the gap area we have to uh, attack together and that is what earlier we planned that in Western Indian Ocean we have a mooring that is a Rama mooring, it is uh, lagging so now they have come forward to deploy some of the Rama mooring so this mooring will provide the data both in the atmospheric uh, uh, parameters as well as subsurface ocean up to 500 meter depth so it will be continuously sending the data to the satellite from that data everybody receives all over the globe this data is freely available and this data we use for the ocean model and then it will be useful for the seasonal prediction of the monsoon in the Indian Ocean in India this was a fantastic opportunity for Goan students aspiring to make career in scientific field. Their enthusiasm was visible all over. Actually, I'm traveling first time in this ship, so it was enthusiastic. Um, I came to know a lot of things about this. Um, it was knowledgeable for me. Does it make you feel inspired to turn into some yeah. sort of an ocean explorer? Yeah, yeah, of course. So when you were told that you're going to be visiting, you know, the ocean explorer Ron Brown, did you imagine a ship this size? No, oh, I didn't imagine like uh, it, w it will be like this. But after seeing this, I'm very happy that I visited this place. You know. The impact of this research study conducted in the Indian Ocean has a great potential to transform Indian agrarian economy which is to a large extent dependent upon timely arrival of monsoon even today. The big results of this cruise are going to be some sampling we've done prior to arrival in Goa. Uh, that was called the, uh, the, it was named the I-7 North cruise in the western Indian Ocean. Uh, this is part of a global deep ocean carbon inventory, trying to find the carbon in the ocean. Uh, multinational, the goal is to get a complete global ocean inventory every decade. Uh, and many, many countries contribute to this exercise. And the Western Indian Ocean has not been sampled in 23 years. So we're very excited about the results. Uh, that we've just observed coming into Goa and some of those preliminary results will be uh, will be presented uh, during the colloquium at the National Institute of Oceanography in Goa uh, next week. We're very excited. We're all waiting uh, with anticipation on, on what the results are from this new data set in the Western Indian Ocean. A study of this magnitude in the Indian Ocean after a long gap of 23 years will no doubt help Indian agrarian economy but will also herald a new beginning in the Indo-US collaboration in undertaking future scientific studies in Indian waters. And finally, it's a wrap. Well, it was quite riveting to see all the entire facilities at the NOAA Ron Brown, right from the well-equipped science laboratory to the computer lab and the absolute privilege of visiting the captain's bridge. This was an education and exercise and an eye-opener as to how, irrespective of wherever nation stands in the cause of science, in the cause of exploration, nations and science come together and produce wonderful results results.